Hi friends, I am Dr. B.B. Rao of Usha Clinic and founder of the websites qmedicaldoubts.blogspot.in and rockformedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary. For the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the tuberculosis of bones. Tuberculosis of bones, tuberculous osteitis, POTS disease and POTS paraplegia. <coughs> tuberculous diseases of the bone are always uh, secondary to the tuberculosis in somewhere, some other part of the body like uh, lungs, uh, bone acquire, acquires the disease through the blood and uh, may affect the periosteum or the interior of the bone. Osteitis starts by landing the cancellous bone in the ends of the lung, long bones near the joints. It passes into the joints and uh, the tuberculous arthritis is uh, resulted. <coughs> it is insidious in onset for a length of time. The patient may not be conscious of the symptoms except a minor pains after work. At later stages, the skin becomes shiny and uh, the bone becomes uh, <coughs> thickened and tender with some muscular wasting. Finally, a periosteal uh, abscess forms. It uh, erodes the periosteum and uh, ca comes to the surface and uh, leads to secondary infection. The underlying one Underlying the articular cartilage, formation of sequestra may be present but of a smaller diagnosis. X-ray reveals the carries, carries the bone destruction, general uh, rarefaction of the bone with the uh, blurring of the bone details, erosion of the shell of the cortical size. Periosteal tuberculosis. It is uh, common in flat bones like uh, sternum, skull and ribs. It starts from the deeper layers of the periosteum which becomes uh, edematous and is uh, separated from the underlying bone by granulation tissue. Cassiation and uh, cold abscess make the superficial structures become adherent and uh, invaded. The bone is eroded in case of ribs, the abscess may extend to the distance and then discharge. Lastly, leads to the secondary infection. Tuberculous spondylosis. Diagnosis. For both types, the, pres the presence of primary focus of tuberculosis in the lungs or uh, intestines. Uh, finding a tubercle bacilli in the sputum pharyngeal swab or uh, discharge. X-ray reveals the erosion of the bone in uh, case of advanced case. POTS disease or tuber uh, tuberculous spondylitis. The most common site is the spine of the thoracolumbar region. The disease starts as an osteitis in the callus bone of vertebral body adjacent to the disc pus collected as a, a perispinal abscess under the anterior common ligament. Collapse of bodies uh, <coughs> lead to the kyphosis. The abscess forms at lower part, far, <coughs> far from the disease. If not identified, may lead to sinus and uh, secondary infection. The disease in the thoracic region above the level of the cauda equina, the pus in the spinal canal can lead to POTS paraplegia. Clinical features. There, there will be general systemic uh, signs of uh, lassitude, loss of weight, night sweats and uh, evening pyrexia. These are so insidious that are not recognized until the Paraplegia, kyphosis or uh, cold abscess is seen. 
In old people, vague back pain is uh, thought to be rheumatism or fibrositis. Signs. Rigidity of the spine. This is the first sign of the POTS disease. Moderate degree of limitation of uh, forward bending with uh, mild indefinite uh, backache. The presence of abscess in the abdomen and the groin. Palpation of spine may show early knuckle. Kyphosis. Knee jacks and uh, plantar response in dorsal uh, disease may reveal early pyramidal tract involvement. Radiology. The lateral view shows a narrowing of the intervertebral discs and the erosion of the adjacent vertebral body. Anteroposterior view. Presence of uh, perispinal abscess. In old cases, the perispinal abscess may be seen calcified. Treatment. Recumbency and uh, general systemic uh, measures. The patient is uh, immobilized on a spinal frame or plaster bed. Abscess or aspirated com complete cure helps early recovery. Ambulation in apparatus. Bracing back the shoulders and uh, counteracting the forward stooping at uh, high levels a blocked leather collar is needed. Orthodesis. If a spontaneous fusion of the vertebral bodies has taken place, operative fusion is necessary. Treatment. As it is a secondary infection, it must be aimed at the treatment of the disease as a whole. Then only the local mani uh, manipulations may be carried out. Sometimes the systemic uh, treatment may spontaneously heal the local bone pathology. If there is an abscess, it is uh, advisable to evacuate and curate the underlying bone which is uh, diseased. Uh, the, to avoid the secondary infection and uh, sinus formation, these days surgery is undertaken earlier with the systemic treatment. That's all about the tuberculosis of the bones and in the next video I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.